Urban areas in low-income countries are undergoing fast population growth and are faced with the challenge of providing adequate sanitation. This includes the provision of fecal sludge management from on-site sanitation technologies. Currently, inadequate fecal sludge management greatly contributes to poor public and environment health for many cities worldwide. A lack of financial resources is a common reason why fecal sludge management services do not exist nor can be sustained. Revenues from fecal sludge management products can be an important factor to make sanitation services financially viable. Here in Kampala, Uganda, market research has identified energy products as earning the highest possible revenue. The major route that could lead to recovery of larger quantities of money is actually the energy route. Um, these other methods of uh, obtaining sludge for use in agriculture, in land filling and so on, actually uh, recover very, very little amount of money that cannot contribute toward the sustainability of fecal sludge management services. This video is about the sludge to energy enterprises in Kampala, or SIC project, led by Iwak Sandek. SIC researched how to make and market fecal sludge treatment products such as fuel pellets, chair briquettes, and electricity. Because fecal sludge is mostly water, dewatering and drying it is essential. Drying beds are a common technology for dewatering and drying, but have long drying times and require much space. In collaboration with the National Water and Sewage Corporation, the SIC project piloted the use of innovative bioburn pelletizing technology for fecal sludge. Pelletizing transforms dewatered fecal sludge into a pellet form that can be used as fuel or as soil conditioner. Our research shows that sludge can be processed at moisture contents ranging from 30 to 60 percent. It takes one week to dry fecal sludge in form of a pellet. This is much faster compared to when you dry the fecal sludge on the drying bed. The result can be reduced space requirements for the treatment plant. SIC also assess the use of pellets in gasification for electricity production. In Kampala, sludge has a high ash content. Ash does not burn and does not contribute to the energy content. So these high ash contents and low caloric values prohibited the reliable operation of a small 10 kilowatt gasifier. Copelletizing fecal sludge with bio waste decreases the ash content of the pellets and increases their fuel value. Chaco is the most common fuel in Uganda, as it is in many sub-Saharan African countries. Seek research shows that cha can be processed from fecal sludge at a temperature above 350 degrees centigrade. This cha can be pressed together with a binder in briquettes for use in charcoal stoves instead of charcoal. Same as pellets, char briquettes made from fecal sludge have poor fuel properties. Co-processing fecal sludge briquettes with char dust from charcoal retailers increases its fuel properties. See compared fuel briquettes and found that these made from 50% fecal sludge char and 50% charcoal dust had a similar energy value to briquettes produced from the carbonized agriculture waste. These agriculture waste char briquettes are already sold in Kampala. Together with industries and briquetting companies, SIC worked towards adoption of pellets and briquettes in order to sustain fecal sludge management. Fuel pellets and char briquettes are relatively new products on the Ugandan market, later on made from fecal sludge. Industries recognize the benefits of fuel pellets, however, they currently do not have the technology for their combustion. 
In contrast, chair briquettes already have an existing market. Here research should provide evidence that briquettes from fecal sludge are safe to ensure uptake by briquetting businesses. So, ask your retailer next time you buy chair briquettes, have they been produced with fecal sludge?